Hello everyone. In this video, let's discuss about decimal number conversion. If you are new to our channel, please subscribe for more engineering related topics. So in this video, let's convert the given decimal number to binary, octal and hexadecimal values. So let's take an example of decimal value. So 1, 2, 5. So the base of the decimal number will be 10. Next, now we must convert it to binary. So the base of the binary number is 2. So they may give the value without floating number. Without floating number means after the decimal no value is there. This is without floating number. After this let us discuss how to solve the floating number value also. So now how to convert this without floating number decimal value to binary. So what is the base of the binary? 2. Just to divide the given value that is 1, 2, 5 from 2. So 2, 6 is 12, 2, 2 is 4. What will be the remainder? 1. Next 2, 3 is 6, 2, 1 is 2. Remainder will be 0. 2, 1 is 2, 2, 5 is 10. Remainder will be 1. Next 2 7s are 14, remainder will be 1. 2 3s are 6, remainder will be 1. 2 2 2 1s are 2, remainder will be 1. So therefore, this will be the most significant bit and this will be the least significant bit. We must write from most significant bit towards least significant bit. Therefore, what will be the value? 1 1 1 1 1 1 0 1. What is the base? 2. So now we have converted the given decimal value to binary value. Next, how to convert the same decimal value? We will take 1, 2, 5 to base 10. Now we must convert to octal. What is the base value of octal? 8. So let us divide it by 8. 1, 2, 5 divide it by 8. So 8 1s are 8. 8 5s are 40. So therefore 5 will be the remainder. 8 1s are 8, 7 will be the 15 minus 8 that is 7 will be the remainder. So I cannot further divide 1 from 8. So I will stop here. So this will be the most significant bit and this will be the least significant bit. We must write from most significant bit towards least significant bit. So what will be the value? 1, 7, 5 base will be 8. So this is the octal converted value from decimal. Next, decimal to hexadecimal. 1, 2, 5 we must convert to hexadecimal. What is the base value of hexadecimal? That is 16. In 16 values, from 0 to 9, we will write the value as it is. That is, if 7 means 7 itself, 8 means 8 itself, 8 itself 9 means 9 itself. After 9, if it is 10, we will represent it as A. If 11, it will be B. 12, C. 13 D, 14 E, 15 will be F. So now let us convert 1 to 5. So 1 to 5, what is the process to convert from decimal to hexadecimal? What is the base value? 16. Just divide it by 16. So 16 7s are 112, remainder will be 13. So I cannot further divide 7 completely from 16. So I will stop the process here. It will, this will be the most significant bit. This will be the least significant bit. Right from most significant bit towards least significant bit. What will be the value? 7 and 13. Where after 10 I said, after 10 we must represent it using the alphabet. So what is the value of 13? That is D. So 7 D base is 16. So this is the converted value of decimal to hexadecimal. Firstly I said, if they give without floating value, this will be the process. What will be the condition if they give with floating value? So let's consider an example to convert decimal to binary of a floating value that is 28.125. So let's convert this 28.125 to binary value. How to convert? So consider 28 as separate and 0.125 as separate. So 28 
you do with the same process formal method how divide it by 2 because we are converting from decimal to binary so 2 ones are 2 four are 8 remainder will be 0 2 seven are 14 remainder will be 0 next 2 threes are 6 remainder will be 1 2 ones are 2 remainder will be 1 so therefore what is the value of 28 that is 1 1 1 0 0 so this is the value of 28 so next 0 0.125 will be there that is 0 0.125 means 0 0.125 0 0.125 and then multiply with the base number to which you want to convert so here i am i want to convert to binary so i am multiplying it by 2 if you want to convert to octal divide it by 8 and multiply it by 8 for hexadecimal divide it by 16 multiply it by 16 and if it's further of 10 then represent it using alphabetical numbers so 0 0.125 into 2 because i am converting from decimal to binary so 0 0.125 into 2 what is the value 0 0.250 0 0.250 is the value next 0 0.250 multiply the same value which we which you have got by 2 next what will be the value 0 0.500 next again multiply 0 0.500 into 2 so 1.000 stop when you get 1 beside the decimal so that is if you get 2 also it is okay that is greater than 0 when you get greater than 0 value stop the process so i have got 1 which is greater than 0 so i have stopped the process now write from upside to downside upside to downside what we should write means the value bes value before the decimal what is the value before decimal first one 0 next 0 next 1 so point zero zero 0.001 so this will be the value of this decimal value that is floating number when it is converted to binary number so the same process applies for octal and hexadecimal also hope you understood the concept if you like the video, please subscribe and comment below. Thank you.